This past Halloween, I came across an ad on Facebook that dealt with singing pumpkins. Now, I've put together my own singing pumpkins before, but what intrigued me about this particular singing pumpkin is that it had a built-in projector, whereas the singing pumpkin trio that I've done before, you actually had to have a projector that projected the image onto artificial pumpkins. So these ads kept coming through my Facebook feed and I kept uh, ignoring them until one day I decided to look for them. I actually found the company that actually made these pumpkins and didn't order them through the Facebook ad because it turned out that that was a scam. They were using video footage and pictures from other singing pumpkins. So anyway, this particular singing pumpkin is from a company called Mindscope. So let's go ahead and open it up. Really excited. I actually got this because I want to take it apart because it has a built-in, what they call short throw projector, meaning that it doesn't, you don't need to have your projector far from your screen in order to fill it up. So, there it is, right there. It has 70 minutes of talking, singing, and joking. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Now, I'm not gonna take it apart on this video. That will be another video, but let's see. So, right there, it, that's where the projector is supposedly. So anyway, we're gonna unbox it. So the, <laughs> the people who did order through the Facebook ad got these three little plastic pumpkins that when you turn them on, they would blink. They had a colored LED light inside. They would blink and like make a, a, a weird noise. They did nothing like this and they weren't even this size. They were much, much smaller. So here, this is called Jabberin' Jack, actually. And so you get the pumpkin right here. And you get this little instruction booklet. Like so. It's okay, you don't need to. Okay. And then there is a USB biscuit and cable right here. And then, oh, this is kind of cute. This is the stem that goes on top of the pumpkin. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this right here. Now it feels like, you know, those, those pumpkins that you use uh, during trick-or-treating to, you know, to collect your candy in. So, so there, so this is, this is what it kind of looks like. So this is the back. There's this, the speaker grill there, um, USB port there. And this is an on and off switch here, I believe. Another speaker grill. And then on top of here, this is where the stem will go, like that. And I think another speaker grill and some pause and play buttons. And then on the front, it's flat. And that's where the screen is. So the projector is going, from inside is going to project inside out onto this surface. So... Let me go ahead and plug this guy in and we shall see how he looks. Um, we will, I'm going to grab, grab a battery charger here. And I'm actually going to use my battery pack instead. I'm gonna pick him up. We're gonna plug him in. All right. And then we're gonna turn him on. Let's see what happens. <gasps> and 
There it is. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Let's see. We're going to turn the volume. So there's a couple of different modes. There's talking mode or funny mode, spooky mode, and traditional. So if I hit the skip. The big difference between me and all those other Halloween decorations, I know when you're talking about me. Very funny. That's pretty cool. That's spooky. So he's supposed to start talking some more, I think. Does he start? You and your scary movies. What will you do when a real monster comes for you tonight? Flip the channel? Ha! Very cool. So the, the, the screen and the screen in person is a little fuzzy. It's hard to tell through the, the video here. It is a little fuzzy, but it, it looks good. Um, it's pretty Let's amazing. Let's just say I know a thing or two about possession. And when the time comes after I've grown stronger, your body seems like the perfect host for my escape out of this orange shell. <laughs> So anyway, so that's the Jabberin' Jack. It's 60 bucks on Mindscope's website. Um, I can't wait to try to take this apart here. There, it looks like there might be some screws in there. I want to see what is Run inside, and maybe I can recreate it. So anyway, that's the unboxing. And uh, look for my Dragon's Lair mini arcade unboxing coming soon later.